Hello everybody, welcome back to our 374 info channel. In today's video, I'll show you the first things to do after setup on your Alcato 3. So as you guys can see, I've completed my setup. Now we're just gonna go and click finish. And now our phone will be ready to use. So let's click finish once more. Now we need to allow every single thing for the launcher. It's the default app in the system, so we have to allow it. Here you guys can choose your home screen style from the beginning. So we can use either home and drawer screen or home screen only. I use the first one, it's a matter of personal. So it's basically personal, it's all up to your preference. Now, what you guys can do first is connect to the Wi-Fi. So let's hit the settings and here let's go to network and connection. Now, as you guys can see here, we have the Wi-Fi, but it says not connected. So choose your network and here enter your password. So I'll enter the password and I'll get back to you guys. So now we've got our password, let's click connect. And as you guys can see, now we're getting an IP address and we are finally connected to the network. So now what we're gonna do is we wanna check the system update. So we don't want to run the old version of the system on a new phone. So scroll down and go to system. Now select system updates. And here we need to ch click on the check for updates. Let's click again. And now all we have to do is just wait until we see if we need an update or if our device is up to date. So we can leave, we can try again and as you guys can see our system is up to date so we do not have anything to worry about. Now what can we do? We can go over and add a Google account but we're gonna do it a different way. So we're gonna make it faster a bit. We don't wanna waste our time here. So let's go over to Play Store and set up the Google account in the Play Store so we can already update apps if we have some. So let's click on sign in. And here we need to enter our email and the password. So now let's enter our email. And now after entering the email, let's click on next. And here we will need to enter our password. So I'll see you guys once I enter mine. So after entering the password, we will have this screen right here, who will be using this device. So these steps may vary here a little bit, but I will select, I will be using this device for your child. It shouldn't be anything other than just accepting some rules just like here so as you guys can see now we need to agree to the terms of service and here we will have the option to enable the backup to google drive so you want to enable it basically you need to back up everything and this is the way to enable a backup on your phone so now as you guys can see we have successfully set up our play store now what we can do is we can check if any app requires an update so click on your profile picture go to my apps and games and as you guys can see here we can retry and check for updates so as you guys can see every app for me is up to date but here you guys can check it so while we're here what we can do is we can download apps so we're gonna start off with downloading a browser I am a big fan of Brave, even though I was using Chrome for a bit, but it looks the same. So I am gonna choose the Brave. It might not be available for this phone right here, but here we have a good alternative, which is the Firefox. I also like it. It's my second favorite browser. As you guys can see, this phone is a little bit old. That's why brave is not here but we still have the firefox and for a 2019 phone i think it's a solid choice you guys can also go with opera but i just don't trust it 
Now, after installing the Firefox, what we will do is we will set it as a default browser. So for example, you're tired of using Google or Chrome. So you guys can basically change the browser right here. As you guys can see, let me quickly leave it. And here we have the Chrome, for example, you don't want to use it. So we're going to switch up to the Firefox. Now let's go here and it's still installing. It should be done any second now. So it took a couple more minutes. It was around five minutes of pure installing of the Firefox browser, but it's finally here. So we can easily click on open. We can optimize the app and then we can click on continue. We can set it as a default browser. And here let's click on browser app and choose either Chrome or Firefox, whatever you use. Now let's leave and as you guys can see the browser app by default is the Firefox. So here we can add a Firefox search widget. I don't need it so I'll click not now. Also click not now here. And right here we can pick a theme. So I always use the dark one and here we can change the toolbar placement to the bottom for example. And here we have the toolbar, here we can type in anything. And our browser is finally ready. So what can we do next is we can set up our screen locks. So let's go over to the settings. And here in the settings, we want to go over right here. So we want to go to the security and location. Here we have our screen lock. And I recommend using either a pin or a password. So I'll choose pin. You guys can also use the pattern, but patterns are very easy to guess depending on the pattern you will have. So let's enter the pin that will have at least four digits. I use the least safe one. It's the most unsafe pin code. So don't use the same one as me. And here you guys can choose how to show notifications when your device is locked. So I will always hide the sensitive notification content like a message from somebody but I will see that there's a new notification from, let's say, WhatsApp. So let's click down here. And now our screen lock is the pin. We can try it out. As you guys can see here, we enter our pin. We confirm it and it's all ready. So that's great. Now moving on to the fingerprint sensor, we can manage our fingerprints. As you guys can see, we can click on next. And here, let's enter our pin to set up the fingerprint sensor. So the fingerprint sensor on this device is right at the bottom here. So all we have to do is just click it a couple of times and we need to add a different parts of our finger. So now it's done and now we can test that out. So it works. And the last one, we will use the face scan. So the face scan is right here. It's called the face key. And now let's click on continue, click on agree. And here enter the pin code. Now let's click start and we need to get ready to unlock our phone by using our face. So let's click start and here we will have to put our face. So I'll quickly do it off camera. Now our face has been registered and we can turn it on and see if it works. So as you guys can see, here we can do just that and our device is unlocked. So it was a very fast, easy process. Now, as you guys can see, we can also remove our face data and that's basically what we can do here. And if we want even more privacy, what we can do is we can go to apps lock and here we need to create a new unlock pattern. Now let's click continue. Now we need to confirm it. And here we can lock the apps. So for example, I want to lock Chrome. Now after I enter Chrome, I need to confirm it with our pattern. So this is very cool. It's a very cool feature. 
and that's basically what we can do here now we're gonna try and set up the google wallet so it's the thing that people use the most in the world right now so it's the same as apple pay and everything so let's go over to the play store and install the app we need to go to search now here select and type in google and here we have the google pay so the app's name is not google pay it's google wallet it was google pay before so now let's click on install and it will install automatically on our device so all we have to do is just wait as you guys can see now it's installing and it should take less than a second so it's ready now we can click on open and it will choose an account automatically to use with the Google Pay. So here it's loading up. Now let's click on view wallet. And here what we need to do is we need to click on add payment card. So you need your physical card right with you. If you don't have it, then you won't be able to actually add it to your account or the google wallet for this device as you guys can see i won't be able to add this card right here because it is not physically with me and the best way to set up a credit or debit card is by clicking right here and using a camera for it so after you set it up here you can also set up a lot of other things not including the card here we can add some loyalty programs the clubs as you guys can see the paybacks we can add a lot of things so as you guys can see here we have a ton of those possibilities so let's say you want to scan your transit card you can also do that everything you can you can add everything here as you guys can see the loyalty card gift card and now after setting up our wallet what you guys can do is go over to the settings and here go over to the battery so select smart manager here we have the battery and here you guys can change the power plants so you guys can use the smart mode normal saving mode or super saving mode so as you guys can see here we can check the apps using the background data it's also very important and here we have the power draining apps. So after we click it, we can stop this app right here. And here we can also check the details of our battery. So we can enable battery saver, percentage, adaptive brightness. We can change the sleep time. And here we can basically take care of our battery. So that's basically what you guys need to do after setup. I hope this video helped you, if it did then leave a like, subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one.